Hello friends, this is Mrs. Rios Garza and today I would like to read you a story about a grumpy monkey. That's the title of the book and the authors are Suzanne Lang. Well, the author is Suzanne Lang and the illustrator is Max Lang. And here is the cover of the book, Grumpy Monkey. In this story, Jim Panzi is in a terrible mood for no good reason. And we're going to find out what he does about it. Sometimes though, could it be that he just needs a day to be grumpy? Well, let's see, let's find out. Here we go. This is the title page, Grumpy Monkey by Suzanne Lang, illustrated by Max Lang. One wonderful day, Jim Pansy woke to discover that nothing was right. The sun was too bright, the sky was too blue, and the bananas were too sweet. And there he is. Jim was confused. What's going on? Maybe you're grumpy, suggested Norman from next door. I'm not grumpy, Jim insisted. And there they are, Norman and Jim Pansy. On his walk, he met Marabou. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Marabou. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Marabou. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. But look at how you're standing, Marabou said. It's true, said Norman. You're all hunched. So Jim loosened up. And there he is loosening up. Then he ran into Lem Lemur. Jim's grumpy, Norman told Lemur. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked Lemur. It's such a wonderful day. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Your eyebrows look grumpy, said Lemur. It's true, said Le Norman. They're all bunched up. So Jim raised his brow. And there he is. Then he tripped over Snake. Oh no, said Norman. That's the last thing you need when you're feeling so grumpy. Grumpy? Me? I'm not grumpy, said Jim. Then why that frown, said Snake. I think it's because he tripped over you, Norman whispered to Snake. So Jim put on a smile. And there he is, putting on a smile. <laughs> Finally, Jim looked happy. But he didn't feel happy inside. Poor Jim. Everyone wanted Jim to enjoy this wonderful day. You should sing with us, said the birds. Jim didn't feel like singing. You should swing with us, said the monkeys. Jim didn't feel like swinging. And there's the birds inviting him to sing and the monkeys inviting him to swing. 
and he didn't feel like doing either, right? You should roll with us, said the zebras. Jim didn't feel like rolling. You should stroll with us, said the peacocks. Jim didn't feel like strolling. You should lie on the grass. You should stomp your feet. You should take a bath and make a splash. You should hug someone. You should laugh. You should take a nap. You should eat old meat or some honey. You should jump up and down. You should sit in the sun. You should dance. Look at all his friends making all these suggestions. But Jim didn't feel like doing any of that. Why are you grumpy, Jim? asked the others. It's such a wonderful day. I'm not grumpy, shouted Jim as he beat his chest. There they are asking, and there he is, telling them he's not grumpy. And he stormed off. There he goes. Jim felt sorry, a little sorry for shouting at everyone, but mostly sorry for himself. I guess I am grumpy, Jim sighed. And just as he was starting to feel really sad, He came upon Norman. Norman was slumped. His eyebrows were bunched up and he was frowning. What's the matter? Are you grumpy? asked Jim. No, I danced with porcupine, said Norman. <laughs> and there he is trying to take the quills off. <laughs> Are you okay? asked Jim. It hurts, but I'll probably feel better soon enough, said Norman. Are you still grumpy? Yes, said Jim, but I'll probably feel better soon enough too. For now, I need to be grumpy. It's a wonderful day to be grumpy, said Norman. Jim agreed. And there they are, being grumpy together. And he already felt a little bit better. And there they are, two friends being grumpy together. And that's the end of the story, friends. Some days are just like that. Some days you just need a little time to feel grumpy and get it over and done with. I hope you have an ungrumpy day, though. Until next time, this is Mrs. Rios Garza. Bye.